10, the Luzerne County Bureau of Elections is beginning to train poll workers as primary election day approaches on April 23rd. The training sessions are part of an initiative put on by their in-house poll trainer. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules spoke with the election official about the training sessions and is live with more. Alicia. Aaron, for the upcoming primary election, the county will be using a new electronic poll book system. The acting director of elections, Emily Cook, tells me that electronic polls aren't new for the county as they were used briefly in the past. However, this election, they feel more confident than ever after doing a 30 precinct electronic poll book pilot last year using no NIC voting systems. It does work a lot better from what we've experienced thus far. You know, our pilot program we did back in the fall, it was November 2023, we, we did a 30 precinct pilot uh, and that went very, very well. We had pretty much unanimous feedback that this was the, the company to go with. So it was very, very reassuring that we're moving in the right direction. Electronic poll books are laptops, tablets, or kiosks designed to replace paper poll lists. They can also access digital voter registration records for their representative jurisdiction. Electronic poll books can now be used to capture voter signatures, identify a voter's ballot style or preferred language, detect ineligible voters, and extract data reports. Throughout the past 15 years, the United States have seen a steady increase in the use of electronic poll books during elections. According to the most recent data from the 2022 Election Administration and Voting Survey, findings revealed that 40 states and territories currently use electronic poll books. While these polls will be electronic, plenty of poll workers will still be needed to help Election Day go as smoothly as possible in the county. We are still just about 40 days out from the election, so uh, when we get closer, we'll start to see people drop off due to last minute changes and things like that, which is why it's important to uh, build up our, our supply of, of backup poll workers, our, our, our deep bench of, of fill-ins um, now at this point. If you are if you are interested in being a poll worker, visit this story on our website, fox56.com. And remember, the last day to register to vote is April 8th. Reporting live, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, first at 10.